In this video I'm going to show you how you can connect one of these, a coaxial television plug, to the coaxial cable. So these little plugs basically um, connect to the end of the cable which then goes to your television area, either located onto your roof or into your loft space. So these little plugs usually consist of um, four separate parts. You have the clamp in the middle which basically clamps onto the cable and the piece which then goes into the TV and obviously it just all screws together. So this is a male coaxial connector. If you're connecting a female one, it's exactly the same process. A male is obviously to plug into the back of your television. A female plug is usually to plug into the back of a set-top box. If you're maybe creating a separate feed in, a, in another room and so on. So to do this job, you don't need any special tools. You just need some side cutter pliers, some nice pliers to cut through the cable. So. I've just got a, a piece of cable here. This is a this is RG6 um, coaxial cable, which is a good quality cable. I recommend when you do buy this stuff, try to stay away from the cheap stuff, as um, you may get interference on your TV if you do use a very cheap cable. So oh, it doesn't cost a lot of money to buy the you know the, the decent stuff. So try and buy the decent stuff if you can. So so once you've got all your bits in hand and your pliers, so first thing we want to do. We want to, so this um, coaxial cable is basically made it out of four separate layers. So you've got the out the plastic layer, which basically protects it from the weather. Then you've got some copper um, um, thread in the middle, woven thread, which um, pre prevents interference. Then you've usually got a, a plastic kind of hollow core, which um, protects the, the inner cable. And then you have the obviously the one in the middle, which is the copper the copper core, it's just a single copper um, piece of wire. It may not be copper if the cable's cheap, but it's usually copper in this case. So, so basically what we want to do, we want to go down a roughly one inch. So say around that kind of distance. It doesn't matter if you go down even further, you can always trim it at the end, so roughly one inch. So with our side cutter pliers, we want to just gently kind of nip all the way around. So we're not looking to cut into the cable, we're just looking to cut the outer plastic um, protection, so just gently kind of nip around it, roughly an inch down. Do as many cuts as necessary. It doesn't matter if you cut some of the um, copper stranding in the middle, as that's only to protect from interference and stuff. You definitely don't want to damage the inner core, that's the most important. So once you've made enough cuts around the outer edge of it, just bend it a little bit and you should see it kind of coming apart. Just just gently manipulate it until it kind of breaks away. You may need to cut it again in certain places. So it should then pull off. So Hopefully I've missed most of the um, little strands of copper, but if you, if you have cut through some, it doesn't matter. In this case, you can also see this um, um, foil, which also protects against interference. Again, this depends on the actual cable you bought. If it's a cheap cable, it won't have foil. In my case, it does. So once you get all the thin um, strands of woven copper, what I like to do, I like to separate them into two equal parts. So just pull them all away. And if you've got any kind of cut the foil, make sure that's all pulled up as well. So you can see some of these little bits of copper form up. I've, I've cut some of them, but that doesn't matter. So once it's kind of equal, equal either way, just spin them round into a kind of ponytail. So we've now done that part. So we can just push them back now. Just just wrap them around the cable like so. Now we want to cut the. Um, in a insulation, this kind of clear piece of plastic. In some cases, this is also made of foam, so it's foam is no different. So in this case, we need to be careful not to damage the inner copper core. So again, we just want to gently kind of snip into the plastic or the foam. 
and do this slightly above a few millimeters above the actual copper strand in here so just gently kind of snip round it once there's enough little cuts in it just gently twist it either clockwise or anti-clockwise and it should come off like that so there we have it so the most important part here is to make sure that these small copper um, woven shield pieces here are not touching the inner copper core so if these little little pieces of copper touch this piece of copper it will cause interference and your TV um, picture will constantly break up so make sure they're not touching each other so we're, we're practically almost there now so all we need to do now is to grab our coaxial TV plug so again this comes in four pieces so the first the first piece is the back piece we slide this over our copper uh, over our cable sorry then we get the clamp in some cases you may need to open this up a little bit to make it fit over so just open it up a little bit then we can just make sure all these little strands are all nicely compact together and not touching before you do this now so should look like that then we can slide that over and then we can just press that down over the small copper strands then we can get this little piece here what I like to do here as well is just put a little bend in the copper core here as it helps make a better connection to this little piece here and you should get a slightly better stronger TV signal so just put a little tiny bend in the copper here there's a small bend then slide that on push that on and then the last piece just slide that on and then all we have to do is screw it together just do it nice and tight and you should see the clamp coming out slightly at the bottom here and that should pinch together on the outer part of the plastic cable on the plastic cover so just just do it up if the inner copper cord is sticking out here a little bit just trim it up with your, with your pliers you can also just take it up again and you can get it right down to the uh, base here so just snip in there or if you can't do that take it up so once that's done that should be it plug it into your TV make sure it works if you're getting interference then just check that none of the um, copper strands are touching each other but that should be basically it so that's how you attach a co coaxial cable plug thanks for watching